Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint this tree trunk in the forest. Let's get started. First, I'm going to wet both sides of the paper with plenty of water. And then I'm going to wait a little bit so that the paper can absorb this water. Ideally, we want to start painting when the shiny screen on the surface of the paper starts disappearing. So first, I'm mixing a primary blue with a lot of white and a little bit of black to make a desaturated blue and I'm just gonna go in and put this down on the top half of the paper. This will be our background color. Then I'm adding some indigo and more black to create a darker blue for the shadow. At this stage, I'm just trying to cover the page with some colors without having to worry too much about the brush stroke or any details. I also added a little bit of green just to vary the hue of the colors. Now I'm adding a little bit of light blue to the mixture and putting that down. For the grass, I'm mixing lemon yellow to our current mixture here. And I'm varying the ratio between the yellow and blue just so that our grass has different colors in them. Some a little bit more blue and some a little bit more yellow. For the tree trunk, I'm using burnt sienna with a little bit of red and white. I also switched to a smaller flat brush just so I have more control over the area. To get the color of the shadow part on the tree trunk, you just have to mix in indigo into burnt sienna and that would naturally make it darker. I'm also adding in a little bit of purple as a touch to the shadow colors. The top of the tree trunk color is mostly going to be lemon yellow mixed with primary blue and a lot of white. Now with the same flat brush, I'm using a little bit more orange and burnt sienna and I'm just using the edge of the brush to create some texture on the tree trunk. I like to do this when the paper is relatively still wet so that the color kind of blend in nicely. Now as we wait for the foreground to dry, we're going back in with a little bit darker blue than the one that we put down to add some trees and to make them look like they're far away. And I'm doing this layer by layer. The first layer of tree will still be relatively light and any layer that come after that, I would use a little bit darker blue and less water. For the bushes, I'm adding a little bit more green to our blue mixture, but I still want to keep it in a kind of blue shade and make it so that it wouldn't stand out because our main focus here is the tree trunk. It may look fast in this video, but in real time, it took me 3 hours to finish this painting. So don't rush yourself, just take your time. Because most of the things we're painting here is not that hard, it's just taking a while. So be patient, go slowly, and don't rush yourself. All I'm doing here is adding some bushes and some rock in the background. If you have trouble painting bushes or rock, I made two videos previously explaining how I do it and I'm just applying that here but with less details.
for the bigger tree, I'm mixing burnt sienna, a little bit of indigo and some purple. And in this painting, my light source is from the left. So all the tree is going to be slightly darker on the right and slightly lighter on the left. Color temperature wise, it's going to be slightly more blue or more cool on the right side and more warm or more red on the left side. For the light depth on the tree, I'm mixing a skin tone color, which essentially is red, yellow, and a little bit of white. And I'm just adding more white if I need a lighter mixture of that same color. We're gonna do the same thing for the big tree on the right, but since this tree is closer to us, it's just gonna be a little darker than the one on the left. Now I want to make the shadow part on the right darker, so I'm going back in with a mixture of indigo and black, but I use more black this time and less water. I'm also filling the space in the right side of the trunk by mixing a little bit green to our mixture and use that as the color. I switched to a small round brush here to add some plants and leaves. And I want to keep these plants still relatively dark because they are still in the shadow. I didn't really have a reference photo. What I did is that I went online and just Google a bunch of different plants and leaves and I just add them randomly to the painting. Here to add the texture of the forest floor, I'm holding the brush parallel to the paper and I'm slightly brushing it upward against the paper so that I can just use the paper texture as the forest floor texture. And again, I'm using different ratio of blue and yellow to make different mixture of green so that the forest floor would have different type of green color. Now I'm just adding some small tiny leaf on top of the tree trunk using lemon yellow mixed with primary blue and white but a lot more yellow and white than blue. And then to make the painting more interesting, I'm just going in with different colors to add some flowers randomly on the grass. Here I'm using some blue, some yellow, and some red, but you can just use any color that you like for the flowers. And finally, I went in with a light yellow to make the light dab on the background trees a little bit more light. And also use a almost black color to add some 
tracks to the trees. And here is our paintings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any question or if you want to see more painting like this in the future. Also, the real-time version of this painting will be available on my Patreon soon. You can check out the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.